Hey, I'm back with some more projects that you can make in your shop that should sell very well if you choose to. Now today we're going to dive into Etsy and we're going to find a few projects that I would consider to be beginner level that show evidence of good sales and are something that I feel confident that the average to even beginner woodworker could jump in and make and start uh, selling right away. Now stay tuned to the end because I'm going to show you a little new trick that Etsy added to their website and it might help you find products a little bit easier and get ideas. So I'll show you that at the end of the video, but let's get started looking at some things that I think you could make and sell right now. So we're back on Etsy. Now I know this isn't the only place that you can sell your items, but it is a, an easy place to go see what other people are selling and you can get in there and use some tools to validate if people are actually getting sales or if they're just listing items and they're sitting there and getting zero sales. So we're going to use a tool today called Everbee and it is a plugin that you can get in your Chrome browser. And the whole thing with Everbee is it analyzes listings and it determines how many of those listings are selling each month based on statistical data over time. Uh, I don't know how the whole thing works. I'm assuming they're probably going in and scraping some information out of Etsy each month to see maybe how much inventory there is for each item. However, we won't worry about that, uh, but we do want to dig in here and see if we can find a few things. Now, there's a few ways you can search for things. Um, one suggestion I would have is to just type a hobby in the search box. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to type fishing. And I'm just going to go to the first page of fishing. Now I did this search a little bit earlier and I found a product in fishing that is selling amazingly well. And it is this fishing rack right here. So I'm going to open this up. So one way you can tell if a listing is popular without even using Everbee is if you look right up here above the price, it will sometimes tell you right there if it's in a certain number of carts. Um, I think the most they tell you is over, it might go up to 20 and then it'll say over 20 carts. Um, it'll also say sometimes how many have been purchased in the last 24 hours. Things like that are good indicators to let you know that a product is popular and selling well. Uh, if you have the Everbee plugin in your Chrome browser, which I'll put a link down in the description on how to get that, uh, it will insert this little button underneath the, the title of the listing and it's called analyze listing. And what will happen is it will go in and tell you they estimate 11 of these are sold a month. Uh, they estimate the revenue is uh, $1,700. They've had 305 total sales. The listing has been on uh, Etsy for 25 months. And then it tells you about reviews and views and favorites and things like that. So that gives you the information you need. It also, if you are um, ever selling on Etsy, it's important to have good tags. It actually tells you what tags they're using, um, which helps with the search. So there's a lot of information that you can gather from this. But what we're going to do is just look at the item here. Now, what I'm seeing here is it is uh, personalized. So that is one thing with Etsy. It's kind of popular and a way to set yourself apart is personalization. They're doing that with this fishing scene and a name. Very good idea. This looks like it is probably cut on the CNC and then painted in or possibly cut with a laser engraver and burnt in. Um, could be either way. The detail is pretty high. It, it is probably a laser engraver. A um, little hard to get that detailed with a CNC um, and not have, you know, some, you know, maybe the paint getting out on the outside of it, it's, that's a little bit more of a challenge. So I would guess they're laser engraving this. I can tell by zooming in that it is plywood. You can see the different plies of plywood and they're offering several different kinds of fish, name, um, 
a man and a boy it looks like so there's some options they have here there's not a lot of materials here you can see um, anytime with a fishing pole uh, rack there's not a whole lot to them and if they're using plywood that's a pretty quick and easy assembly and build um, very basic cuts uh, possibly a jigsaw uh, bandsaw to cut out the the half circles for the fishing rods but you could also use a CNC or even a Forstner bit on the drill press and just you know drill all those out if you set up a jig it wouldn't be that hard to do um, so this would not take very long to make it is five inches deep the height of its 44 and a half and the width of it is 36 and it says it holds eight fishing rods so um, not bad they're, they're selling for 155 dollars I would be shocked if you have more than $30 in materials in that uh, part of a piece of plywood uh, if you buy the plywood by the sheet cut it up it, it wouldn't take very many pieces to make that so this is a good project it's not hard to make if you can personalize it this is a I would definitely look into making these um, you could carve out a little niche of you know catering to fishermen and and sell things to fishermen and you might be able to build a nice little side hustle just doing that but we're going to move on to the next item the next item i found is a cooler type of thing that is personalized uh now you wouldn't have to personalize this but what we have here is we have a basically it's a box wooden legs uh, they they offer personalization for it and then what they have is they have like a, a galvanized water tight insert that will drop down in and they can fill that with ice and you can chill drinks in there uh, here they show they have wine bottles but you could put sodas in there beer in there uh, whatever you wanted inside of there Here's even a picture with magazines. Um, but I think the key to this is it's personalized. It's one of the reasons this is popular, but let's take a look and see how popular. So if I hit analyze listing, this is selling an estimated 90 items a month. Now they estimate the revenue to be $8,400 a month in revenue on this. Now this has only been on Etsy for 16 months. So it's not like it's that long. Um, and they've sold 1,450 of these in that time. Uh, they offer personalization and they have preset things. Uh, or down here, one line custom, two lines custom, and so on. Now, uh, they also offer it where you can engrave on both sides, one side or no engraving and they have three different prices. So at the, the estimated price or the estimated amount of sales on that we just saw here is that is based on this price of $74.95. So if they're selling um, one that's engraved on both sides, that's, that's probably actually a little low. Now I looked at this, this is made out of pine. It says down here, uh, fur galvanized metal insert. And the size of it is 17 and a half long, eight inches wide and eight and a half inches high. So it's, it's like, uh, if you got a one by 10, you could make this uh, the whole way around. I, I would imagine you could probably make at least uh, you could make one of these with just one one by ten and the galvanized drop-in box uh, the challenge would be to maybe find the box because I looked a little bit just online to see and I didn't really see much uh, I, if you went to a local local ho home and garden store you might be able to find something uh, that would work you 
may be able to find it at Hobby Lobby. I, I looked on their website, and I feel like their website doesn't have everything they have because I, I wasn't finding a whole lot. So that would be one, probably one of the first places I'd check. Um, but this is a good product. You definitely could sell a lot of these. Uh, again, if you have a way to personalize them, it would be best because uh, that is... I'm sure a big part of why they're doing this. Let's take a quick look at a few of these pictures and zoom in on them so you can see the assembly. I was looking at this before. All they did was they rounded the corners to make the box look a little more rounded, but it is, it is just straight up pine board. Um, just changed a little bit of how the corners looked. So very simple to build. Would not take very much time at all and pretty nice profit margin built into that. So that would be another really good product that any beginner could make. The last product I want to show you is a cookbook holder. Uh, these are very simple. I've seen a few different designs. Uh, here is a strange one. Uh, that would take a little bit of figuring on what angles to cut. but. This one right here, actually I don't really care for this one that much, but I'll show it to you. This one right here, all it really is, is it's a board, and you can make this as decorative as you want, and then it has a hinged leg on the back. Now the reason I don't like this is I feel like that is going to end up failing eventually. Um, I just, that hinge, the way it is, it, I, this, I feel like the screws will get loose. I wouldn't feel comfortable selling it just because I would be worried that there would be an issue down the road. So they have basically a, just a piece of wood and a bar in the front that honestly could just be a like a drawer pull. Uh, and you just mount that in and that stops it from sliding out. The nice thing about this is you could use it for cookbooks. You could use it for tablets. Uh, if you didn't want to hold a tablet, you could make it, it could just call it a tablet stand, but there's multiple uses for it. This one, it's in 11 carts right now. And if we analyze the listing, they sell 22 a month and the revenue is about $1,062. And that is, let's just see how big this is. Learn more about the item. It's pine. It is 14 inches, 14 and a half inches tall, about nine inches wide. So it's a one by 10. And it is, I mean, it's two pieces of wood. Now they cut the top into a handle. You wouldn't even have to do that. You could just make it flat across the top. Uh, two pieces of wood, you got a piece for the here you got a piece for the the stand and then I guess you have a third one for the leg here but I mean it tells you all the measurements right here it would be really easy to recreate this if you wanted to I would modify it if I were you um, I don't recommend stealing ideas like that but it's you can use it for inspiration but I wanted to go back there were a few other ones I saw that look really nice this is one looks nice little bit two-tone and this one they just made a slot and and then slide the, the thing through and it, it makes its own leg so then when you don't want to use it it folds up flat kind of a cool idea uh, so that would be an option only four left and six in carts so they didn't have a high stock count but they're obviously selling them I don't know how many three so three a month, still, I mean, that's scrap wood. You can make that with scrap wood. And it's a good way to use scrap wood. You can make a little bit of money with your scrap wood. It's better than throwing away or burning it. Uh, let's look at another one here i would seen. Let's take a look at this one here. So this one is very simple. Two pieces of wood. You don't need to have a leg with a hinge. You, it's just... It would be something that someone would probably keep setting up at all times. Now they cut a small groove, also known as a dado, 
in there and it's just, it actually is a little bit of a V you I don't know I would be careful making this because I'm not sure how sturdy that is but there's got to be a there, there, you could figure out a way to make it where you wouldn't I, I my concern with this when I look at it is that that joint doesn't seem like it's extremely strong um, <clears throat> unless of course they have screws coming up from the bottom which they very well could if I were making it I would somehow fasten it through the bottom so that I'm sure that that it's not going to break as easy so glues and screw would be good but across the front you can buy those that's, that's cabinet hardware you could easily use any kind of nice size pole and it would work well so let's take a quick look at the sales they are selling five a month um, this, is, this hasn't been on Etsy very long less than a year and it's roughly $350 in revenue um, <clears throat> that is still not bad because all they're using is pine I believe yep handcrafted from solid pine they give you four stain options. The metal bar can be black or gold. And it's nine inches wide and 11 inches tall. So it is, again, a one by 10. And they actually look like they use glued up pieces. So those are, those are glue ups. That's not even a one by 10. But you could use a one by 10 if you wanted to, um, so long as it's dry and everything. But you can also buy pre-glued up panels. I know at um, Menards, which is we have close to us, they have pre-glued up pine panels. That would be something you could use it for. Um, or you could use hardwood. Use, use cutoffs. Use your scrap wood up. Uh, always good to find a way to use scrap wood and make money from it. So this is a, a good option. I would think you could sell these. Like I said, great for a cookbook or a tablet uh people don't want to just sit and hold their tablet all the time they could rest on something if they're reading or if watching something uh it would be handy for any anybody like that now i told you at the beginning of the video that i wanted to show you something that etsy did that makes it easy to find new products so if we go to the first page of etsy they have this new thing called gift mode. So if you click on the gift mode section, it asks you who you're shopping for and you can pick the person that you're trying to buy a gift for. So maybe it's a uh, grandparent. Then hit next question. Now it asks you what the, the occasion is. Let's say we're doing something for Mother's Day and it even asks you what they're into now i don't necessarily select these i just kind of hit show gift ideas and you can see here the grandmother and if you hit show ideas here we got personalized recipe boxes uh, just these are just things that can give ideas if you have a a laser cutter right here we got a family tree wall art it'd be really really nice gift that is something that would sell really well uh, it's a good idea and people love personalized things and especially on Etsy that is uh, a great product I just would encourage you to dig in here and try these out see what is in here you may find something this is actually how I found the fishing rack fishing pole rack I just found the fisherman and I hit show more and it was one of these or I discover more like this so if I like the ideas they're showing I could hit discover more like this and it shows me all these things so here is customized fishing lure hanger rack um, not sure if those are selling or not but it was an interesting idea yeah they're selling four of them a month I mean it's not a knockout item but it looks like it's all laser cut plywood. So if you have a laser cutter, uh, would be something fairly simple to make. But 
here's fishing racks and tackle boxes and there's there's just tons of things uh i would encourage you if you're look you're interested in making something just not sure quite what to make dig into these things new homeowner would be a good one i'm sure there's things new homeowners want like cutting boards which you know cutting boards are a popular item but um, doesn't mean you shouldn't make them and other items such as that so i'm not going to dig into all that i did want to show you that because i thought it's a really nice feature for woodworkers looking for just inspiration and ideas on what to make uh, maybe what people are buying and if you use that everby tool that is something that will help you determine if it is a good product or not to, to, to spend your time on. So thanks for watching. I hope this gave you some ideas, some inspiration. Again, I encourage you to use them as inspiration, but make them your own. Come up with some unique ideas. Make something different. Find a, some way to make it even more valuable to the person that you're uh, going to have as your ideal customer. Hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Watch this video right over here and it's going to show you some more projects that we talked about a few weeks ago that may pique your interest and give you ideas on what to sell. Aside from that, we'll catch you next time.